welcome on learning with l and r and today we are going to discuss about the new topic new procedure that is care of baby under phototherapy so let's discuss phototherapy consists of application of fluorescent light to the infant skin most commonly used treatment for unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia as you know when the jaundice or bilirubin level is higher than the normal that time we use the uh, phototherapy then mechanism of action first one geometric photoisomerization of unconjugated bilirubin resulting in a more soluble from the bilirubin it accounts for 80% of conversion then the second one converting bilirubin to lumirubin through structural isomerization which can be excreted into bile without need for further hepatic conjugation oxidation mechanism resulting in colorless by products and excreted by liver and kidney without need for conjugation then the indication why we give the phototherapy and uh, how we um, how we said that this child is uh, able to take the phototherapy you it it used when level of bilirubin may be hazardous to the infant when the bilirubin level very high prophylactic phototherapy may be indicated in circumstances like extremely low birth weight or severely bruised infants then technique bilirubin absorbs light maximally in the blue light ranges 420 to 500 nm daylight and cool white lamps have a spectral peak between 550 to 600 mm and are less effective than special blue lights which have an average of 420 to 480 nm and the function of the white light is to inspect the skin but the blue light the function of the blue light convert the unconjugated bilirubin to conjugated bilirubin then blue lamps interfere with observation of skin color in the baby and can cause headache and nausea to caregivers hence a combination of white and blue lamps is preferred then a unit with four special blue and four daylight lights will give an effective irradiance of 11 Uh, 11 micro W C M 2 N M, which is far above the required 4 to 6 level. Then the types: single light phototherapy, double and triple light phototherapy. Then the distance of the baby from the light source affects the effectiveness. Typically, a distance of 45 centimeter is used. Then nursing care: when we when we st- going to start the fourth therapy which kind of nursing care we have to provide to the infants in this slide we have to discuss that keep the baby naked except the diapers and covering the eye as larger the surface exposed more effective is the phototherapy eyes must be shielded to prevent potential adverse effects on the retina then closely monitor temperature for hyper and hypothermia maintaining baby is a flex position with rolled blankets along the sides helps to maintain heat and provide comfort oily lubricants should be avoided to prevent training and frying effect accurate charting time that for the therapy started and stopped proper shielding of eyes type of fluorescent lamp number of lamps distance between surface of lamp and infant use of phototherapy in combination with incubator or bassinet photometer measurement of light intensity and occurrence of side effects then complications increase in environment and body temperature increase in insensible water loss especially in premature infants stools tend to be loose and more frequent this loss must be compensated by increasing fluid intake by 25% monitor temperature frequently and check weight twice daily then retinal damage retinal degeneration may occur after several days of continuous exposure bronze baby syndrome skin urine and uh, serum becomes brownish black after several days of phototherapy that's why we use the term bronze baby syndrome 
seen most often in babies with conjugated hyperbilirubinemia babies recover fully several days after fourth therapy is discontinued electrolyte disturbance such as hypocalcemia is there transient skin rashes are may be present drying of skin which can lead to excoriation and breakdown others electric shock unproven potential effects on endocrine and sexual maturation then after fourth therapy is Permanently discontinued, there is often a subsequent increase in serum bilirubin level, often called rebound effect. This is usually transient and resolves without resuming therapy and follow-up bilirubin levels should be checked. Then, new updates, fibrotic lights are also used in phototherapy units and what kind of advantages of uh, the fibrotic fiber optic lights? low risk of overheating the infant no need for eye shielding ability to deliver phototherapy with the infant in the bassinet next to the mother's bed simple deployment for home phototherapy the possibility of irradiation a large surface area when combined with conventional overhead phototherapy unit then drawbacks of fibrotic phototherapy unit may include noise from the fan in the light source decrease the delivered energy with aging or breakdown of the optic fibers some new fiber optic units now incorporate photo diodes diodes as a light source then led light are found in most newer phototherapy units advances include low power consumption low heat production and a much longer lifespan of the light emitting unit about 20000 hours compared with older light sources i hope you have clear with this topic thank you very much